Oh my God, I'm recording just in time to have Josh in front of us. Look at that booty. <laughs> Look at that booty. Welcome to Arts in the Park. Oh. Henley, would you like to introduce yourself or would you like me Hi, to? Hi, I'm Henley, I'm her niece. <laughs> She's my niece, Denise. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 10, turning 11 on Monday. So we out here doing birthday things. And it's things. Saturday. It's Saturday. And, um, I have two more days until I'm 11. Okay, and what Ooh. are we doing in celebration Ooh. of your birthday as auntie and niece? Arts in the Park. We're going to Arts in the Park. Which we haven't gone to in like three years. We haven't gone to in like three years. I think they took actually a break during the pan, yes, during COVID. But it is actually, I don't know if I should speak for Josh, but it's definitely my favorite event that Richmond has. It's, it's really fun. It is really fun. There's like all these vendors that come from all over with like all kinds of art and just like all kinds of stuff. And it's really cool. Actually, Josh's wedding band that we got from there, from this guy named Hans. Check it out, he still has it. <laughs> Guess what, this is Josh's parents' house. We just walked from our house. Now we're passing Josh's parents' house because I conned them into living in, down the street from us. It's a plot, I plotted the whole thing. So my niece has always wanted to be in one of my YouTube videos. So for her birthday, which is on Monday, we're doing this video of us going to our favorite festival in Richmond. I thought it'd be the perfect way to include her in a video. And what a better time to do it on her birthday, right? So we're all going. It's Josh and my best friend and her boyfriend and their baby and my niece. This is our neighborhood. We love our neighborhood. It's blocked off right now because they block it off for the festival so that probably more to like control traffic so people can walk around in here safely. It works out for us. It's so nice. All the food. I just, I see funnel cake and I'm like beelining yeah. it for funnel cake, but oh, I feel like I need to eat lunch. It's a big dog. Look at that big dog. <gasps> Look at this dog. Oh my God, another cute dog. <laughs> oh, he says hi. We saw a really I'm big very dog tall. in Hilton Hill. Look at our, our men back there. Like literally all three of them. <laughs> Let's break this way. Let's see if they can keep up. I'm trying to find the other food. All right, perfect. Um, it's delicious and I wish it wasn't so hot so I could eat faster. I wanna eat this so bad. How hot is it? Really hot. Really hot? Ah. Ah. It's not gonna feel good later. It feels good right now. But it tastes really good. I tried it with the cheese, it was awesome. You're natural. The thing is massive. Oh my God, look at the little piggy. I like this one because it's like a marble-ish type. This one? It's kind of marble. -ish. Oh, that one's so cool. They're so cute. Look at that dresser. Lolly would look. like one of them. You think she would? Maybe. You want to pick one out for Lolly for Mother's Day? It could be from Yumi in London. Well, take a look around. Let's really absorb it. Wally likes blue. Wally likes blue. All right, let's like, let's we can go look. There's some other one. No, no, no. Walk around. Which one are we getting? This one. This one. Why do you want this one? Because it looks like a sunflower. Is sunflower your favorite flower? No, it's my mom's. It's your mom's favorite flower? All right, if that's what we're doing, that's what we're doing. Let's get it. There you go. Just go to the booth that strikes your fancy. And that's the booth we'll go to. Oh, little baby. <laughs> He's so cute. More flowers. Oh, we found you. Oh my God, yay, more friends. Hi. How is everything? Good. The hummocks? <laughs> Just be polite on them because they are for sale. Henley, it's the perfect size. 
Is that the, is that the life? Kinda. Show me what the life looks like. Oh. <laughs> Can I get that one? Oh, the cup. And what flavor? Uh, I'll just have the twist. Look at all this. Oh my God, ice cream. Josh, don't eat it. You'll die. <laughs> He's so allergic to it. Sam. <laughs> Yo, baby. <laughs> <Bro>. <laughs> is this is this breastfeeding life? Yes, it is. <laughs> is it? Everything Lou, look what you did to your mother. <laughs> cool birds. They're so pretty. So pretty. Oh, look at that baby. And this baby. Whoa, I like, oh, I'm so sorry. I like this one. Look at that. That is so cool with this. Oh man, this is so neat. Yeah. And the scorpion. We managed to get a Mother's Day gift, yeah? Score. For Lolly. What, one, one crack to the next crack, go. <laughs> you, pretty, you pretty much made it already. There you go. <laughs> On a scale from one to successful, how successful was us at the festival today? Fun! <laughs> Nothing I said or you said makes sense. What? <laughs> okay, I should have said on a scale of one to ten. All right, what was your favorite part about our Funnel park? cake. <laughs> I didn't even finish my question. The I funnel cake. But what did you do with the funnel cake? I ate it. What, did you dip it in your ice cream? Yeah, I Yeah, dipped it, it in the ice cream. It tastes so really good. I, I think I got it. All right, go. One, one crack to the next. Nice. I did it. <laughs> you did it. I actually did. All right, so your favorite part of the park or the festival was the funnel cake. Yes. Okay. Second favorite. I don't know. <laughs> Getting something for Lolly. Oh, that was nice. That was so nice. And going on the hammock. And going on the hammock. Yeah. Now, what do you want to go do? Do candles. Make candles. Make candles. Make candles and what else? Pots and plants. Pots and plants. <laughs> Cause why not? Cause why not? Why not? Uh, flower, hour, er, flower, 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 er, flower, er, flower. All right, we had an arts in the park success. Yes. We ate. Well, I ate until I made myself sick, so I had to walk home because my stomach started to hurt. <laughs> Henley's yeah. the tank. Hers feels fine. I'm but we got these awesome yard flowers. Josh picked out this one for us. This one's for Lolly for Mother's Day. It was a successful trip. Josh and I are definitely gonna probably go back tomorrow and do more shopping. But yeah, no, we're gonna make some candles. We're gonna pot some plants. Yeah, Lolly's house. We're gonna do some birthday things. friends. Today is vet day. God, I have, I think I'm taking like six. I have it written down. I've got notes. Let's just get right to it. I haven't been on Instagram for a while because of all the animal things that have been going on. I just like need to stay focused and I get super distracted on Instagram. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Momo wants to say hi. Say hi, Momo. Yep. Tonka, that's her saying hi. Tonka hasn't been doing well, um, but she's on new meds, which is really helping. However, the steroids make it so that she'll just like leak pee out. Like I'll watch, I'll be looking at her dead in the eyes. She's awake and pee will just be like leaking out and she has like no idea. Sweet thing. So we actually like the guinea pig liner things that I use. I'll show you. First of all, let's turn off the air purifier because she loud. We'll get back to you when we're done filming. That's for the pigs. It's like these kind of dog pad pee liners. I just got like super big ones that I'm gonna put on the carpets for Tonka. I could care less about the actual rugs. Just don't want pee to soak through to the hardwood. All right, so here is everyone's carriers that I have prepared. We've got two, four, six carriers. Two pigs will go in two of them and then single pigs in the rest. Let's go over my notes. 
so that we can talk about why we're going to the vet today. So today we have Figgy, Olive, Gigi, David, MJ, Hippie, and Moira all going in for checkups, all for different things, some for the same thing. All of my pigs right now are on antibiotics for a URI, for an upper respiratory infection. They've kind of just been passing it around. I initially found it first in MJ and was treating her first and then Hippie had some symptoms. So basically Hippie and MJ have been on medication at different times and so it's like they're passing it back but Nonetheless, other pigs have been sick because my pigs share um, a free room space, or they did. So I think they spread it to each other that way, like sharing that space. So they haven't had access to that in a while. Let's get back to the issue at hand. So Figgy is going to check for his lungs to check to see if his URI is cleared because I did hear raspy breathing in him. He also had goopy eyes on Monday. And so also, <laughs> His penis doesn't come out really easily to clean it. I've talked about this in the past before. You know, you really need to clean your boars, penises, and their sacs. Female sacs too, but for some reason, males just seem to get clogged easier. They think that um, in his, yeah, neuter, something must have crossed. And so he gets this like bulge. It's like from his urine. Anyway, because of this issue, like I can never get his penis out and actually my vet can't sometimes either. So every time we go, we just try to get it out. Sometimes we can get it out, we need to clean it. So we have to do that while we're there. Yay. And then also he has like a little spur on the bottom of his feet because he has feet issues. So we're gonna clip that off. Olive, who lives with Figgy, she has like this sticky stuff on her bum, which I think is blood. And I didn't want to give her a bath until the vet saw it. So I'm taking her just so they can look at that area in her bum to see if that is in fact blood that made it like sticky and clumpy back there. Or maybe if it was from a cyst that ruptured and you know, check her lungs as well. Everyone's going to get their lungs checked while they're there. Gigi, she had raspy crackling breathing. Um, so she's going to get a lung check. David's getting a lung check. He also has little lumps in his lymph nodes, like under his armpits. So we always check those anytime he goes just to make sure that they're not getting bigger because that's not good. So MJ's going because she's always going, I feel like. So we're going to recheck her lungs while she's there. Hippie's going for his lung check because he had raspy breathing last week. And I actually heard it again this morning. And again, they're all on antibiotics. And then last but not least, my sweet Moira. She had blood in her urine. I say thankfully, like thankfully her pee like was out of the cage and onto my hardwood so that I could see it. I actually took a photo. She's had issues, poor sweet thing. She's had an infected uterus. So she had that removed over a year ago. And she has these two little spots that look like they're in her urethra area and they don't, they're not moving. So if they are urinary stones, she's not passing them. So this today might be the day where my vet decides like we might need to go in and have surgery if she thinks thinks Moira can handle it, you know, given like her lungs are in good enough shape since everyone seemed to have had a, UR a URI. However, Moira never like officially was diagnosed with one, but nonetheless, she's on medication because everyone is for precautionary reasons. Um, so yeah, those, those are my notes. I take them with me because it gets really overwhelming when I'm there to remember all of it. And I have notes for Tonka just to talk about it while I'm there with her. Having, you know, 13 pets is a lot. I have 13 senior pets. So, you know, I am at the vet at least once a month, it seems like. And just about all of my, every animal I have except for Matoro, my, one of my dogs is on medication daily. Um, I would love to not be in that position. So we are going to go to the vet together. I've never really done like a vet vlog before. I'm not going to film in there because it's just overwhelming and I don't want to put them in that position. Like that's a workplace. Like we all just need to focus on what we're doing and they need to focus on what they're doing. So I am going to film, you know, a little bit in the car once I get there. And then once I leave so we can talk about everything that the vet said. It's 3.11 right now, my appointment's at 3.40. I should probably go and start wrangling everybody up and getting them in their carriers. So it takes me about 25 minutes to get to the vet. So let's get this party started. 
Okay, so here we have Olive and Figgy together. Gigi's in this one. Hippie and MJ are in here. There's Mr. David, and you will not probably be able to, oh, Moira, we can see you. And there's Moira. All right, so before I get in the car, I'm gonna do one more zipper check. Make sure all zippers are closed at each end so you don't have any pigs that fall out. And then see you at the vet's office. Hey, Josh, say hi. <laughs> hey, Josh. <laughs> $295 later, here we are. So, <laughs> everybody that went to the vet is on <laughs> another antibiotic, SMZ, that they will take twice a day alongside of the Enroflaxin that they're currently on once a day. So, <laughs> the seven I took, We'll be taking two forms of antibiotics, one once a day, one twice a day. She, so for different reasons, they're all continuing antibiotics. And by the, I say they all, all the ones that I took to the vet today. Moira, with the blood that was found, they did do an x-ray and they found a new stone. And I say a new stone, meaning it wasn't there in the last x-ray. They showed me the x-ray from February and then the x-ray from today. I have pictures of it. And you can see that there is like a new stone in there. So that's why she's on a different antibiotic and she'll be on it for longer than everybody else. And she has a follow-up in three weeks. And when we do her follow-up in three weeks, I'm gonna take the remaining pigs that did not come today just to make sure they're doing okay. And then, so she said that MJ, Hippie, and Olive, sounded the noisiest in their upper airways. So it wasn't in their lungs, but it was in their upper airways. And MJ, she said she could hear a little bit in her lungs. So MJ might be like a situation like Henry where this is just like gonna be lifelong for her. It might be, you know, what ends up taking her in the end cause she just can't seem to kick it. Sweet little thing. We're just gonna like keep feeding her recovery food twice a day, every day, and just, you know, keep her with us as long as we can and hopefully she'll be comfortable and happy. I did ask her, like, if since it would be, or she's thinking she could have this long-term, if I should separate her and Hippie, and she said no, because of the whole, like, depression without being with their pig and their partner that they're used to being with. She said it'd probably end up being more stressful for her, so just to keep them together and, you know, just keep an eye on both of them and both of their, like, respiratory and lungs. All of the blood that I thought was in her buttocks area, they did a, um, they did an x-ray on her as well and found nothing. So she's good on that side, but again, she was noisy, so she's continuing the antibiotics. And as for everyone else, it was just, you know, noisiness in their lungs. Everyone got nails trims while they were there. Figgy and David got their penises cleaned and buttholes cleaned. Hippie was super clean, so we didn't have to clean his. But yeah, it's really nice having them clip nails because they can just get it shorter than I can because a lot of times I have to clip nails by myself, so I can't hold them at that perfect angle to come up and cut it short. I just need to get Josh in the pig room more to help me because he's not busy enough. I need him to do more. All right, so let's just get everyone home. I'm ready to get home. I'm starving and then I'm sure they're ready to get out of their carriers and it's treat time. So, and everybody deserves a treat because everybody got tortured today. <laughs> ah! Oh my God, I have such cute videos. I have to show you this video of Olive. No, wait, is it Olive? I have to show you this video of MJ and the way they were holding her. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Okay. Get no, because she'll probably get more stress being away from her buddy she's so used to being with him. She'll probably stress more. We are back home. We've got our new chart ready. So here is the Enroflaxin medicine chart. And now here is the SMZ. And here's our little station, both antibiotics, clean syringes. This is for the dirty syringes. And then we have our Better back or probiotic since everyone's been taking antibiotics so long we're doing probiotics now and then we got our piggies all here still in their carriers because as I take them out of their carriers I'm going to one by one medicate them and then put them back home 
and then give them treats. And then I'll just film giving them treats because that makes everyone happy. Let's do this. They're going to hate me. <laughs> Can we just talk about <laughs> these cute little babies? Look at them. Look at you guys. How do I make it so that you can see it better? You guys love each other and you find so much comfort in your friend. Oh, oh, sorry. I embarrassed you. My bad. Are you happy? Are you happy? <laughs> Are you happy? Guess who's not getting a bath today? You! Guess who is getting a bath today? Olive! Are you so excited it's not you? Are you so excited it's not you? First things first, before I get Olive and start the bath time, we are going to get the heating pad cooking. This is a pet pad. It actually doesn't get as hot as like a human would, a human pad would. Human pad, that sounds funny. Hey y'all, my cameraman has been taketh. Momo took him captive. I guess I have no cameraman. Cover your faces cause you're so freaking cute. Oh my god. Look at this god. cuddle monster. She's just, just a cuddle monster. You're Look. just too much to mama. You pat her and she does her little tongue licks. Okay, so this is my MJ setup. This is what I usually put her in to feed her her recovery food. It's just easier to have her up a little bit higher because I sit here and I like, you know, give her some time in between each syringe. Sometimes she's ready for the next one and she'll just take it on her own. But um, yeah, we just hang out here. This is the recovery food I use. It's the uh, Emeraid. She just really responded a lot better to this than she did the Oxbow Critical Care. That she never would just like take. I kind of had to like force it on her. But with this, she'll eat this on her own. And someone on one of my YouTube videos left this in the comments and thank you a thousand times because this has been a huge game changer. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Are you ready for yummies? You ready to get fed, my big girl? Okay, I'm coming to get you. This is. So the lighting's not gonna be so great, but let's see. Sometimes the first one, I have to like, remind her that she likes it. Like, ready? Oh, you need a little bit of reminder? No, you don't, cause you love it so much. Good girl. Good girl. And you want the rest of it? You ready for it? Good girl. So now that's one down. This many to go. This is what we do every day, twice a day. Hey, then. Hey, buddy. Hey. What you doing? Thank you, boy. <laughs> hey, cutie.
This is a guinea pig. Oh wait, she's in this window. Where are you all? You hiding? There she is. Say hi, Olive. <laughs> so Olive has an icky bum. The vet looked at her, gave her an x-ray, and they found nothing internally, no bladder stones, no anything of issue with like her ovaries. So whatever is sticky on her bum just might be because she's <laughs> a dirty little girl. Okay, we did it. If you can see um, right here where it's just icky, they can't find anything. So she might just be like being a real lazy piggy and just like sleeping in her pee. So we just need to get it off. Right, this is time to get it off because I'm icky. She's not gonna like this. Let's get you wet. Oh. You're gonna be just fine. I'll turn her around the other way in just a second. Say, <laughs> so mommies get very wet during this process, don't we? Hold you up. Get this side. You're being such a brave pig pig. Oh my goodness. Yes. And I lean back a little bit. Just a little bit. Get the under cage. Yeah. Hey. Now, the reason I have a towel in the sink is so that I can put her, set her down when I do the soap like this. And she's got some grip. Hi, girl. See, now we just do the rest of the little cup. She's just a little bum wash. Yeah. I know, it's just so crumpy back here. It's nasty, I can feel it. Can we slide you up some? Yeah. Yeah, that's the spot. Just where I need to clean. Just massage it a little bit. I'm just going slow as to not like freak her out too much. Good girl. I know it's cold, but we have a heating pad. It's all ready for you. And you're gonna get nice warm air. Daddy will go to cure it. How about that? That'll be his one job for after this. All right, so I personally don't go too close up to the ears because it freaks me out. I just do like a wet cloth and like wipe around it and then, you know, do a regular ear cleaning. But I just get worried about drowning the ear in water. So I just don't go far up. And like I said, just get a wet washcloth and then like wipe in that area. All right. Let's get the temperature back to where Josh says it's not hot, being as I tend to go for a warmer. All right, there we go. There we go. Yep, you're doing good. There we go. You're looking for your escape route. You want me to hold you? The one time you actually want me to hold you? Mama's gotcha. Just turn me around, face Papa. It's okay. I just get so like in the moment, I don't even think about filming anymore. I just think about the piggy and then I forget. This is why I'm not good at doing this by myself. I just, I forget and I think about you. So I'm just 
towel drying her off, getting most of the excess water off. And then I have another new dry towel in the bedroom on top of the heating pad where I will blow dry her. Oh my God, look at your beautiful hair. Oh my God, you're a supermodel. You're gorgeous. Oh, I can't. It's so pretty. Okay, ready? Okay. You want to get the towel? I can grab my camera. Your camera. Okay. It's nice and warm. I do the lowest heat because my medium heat on mine is kind of hot. Her bum is right here. That's her bum. Oh, you are eating a little bit. Go, good. Go, go, piggy. Look at her go. Yay. Give her a little break. A little break. You're so, so shiny and so, so pretty. You really didn't even need a bath, but your butt did. Come here, Olive. All right, we have a very mostly dry guinea pig. And all that we have left to do today for Miss Olive is your meds. So she's pretty good at it. She's just okay. shaking. All right, you ready, girlfriend? You know you're blocking my camera. <laughs> One, two, three. Give me meds. You're so good. She's so good. I love you. I'm sorry we had to wash your stinky little bum today. But I promise it'll be better for you. You ready to go home to your boyfriend? I think she's ready to go show her boyfriend her clean bum bum. So thank you for hanging out with me during my first kind of like mini vlog shorts series where I just did like three different categories, if you will, and just kind of vlog them myself. I kind of just wanted to like throw more of what I do in a week in there because so much usually goes on. Some, a lot of it is guinea pig related and, and a lot of it isn't. So I just kind of wanted to like, see how it would go if I just like added the arts festival, added a vet visit, did a bath and things like that. I don't know, tell me what you guys think. I just wanted to try it out, you know, now that Josh got me that camera. She says I don't really appreciate the playing around with it. Olive and I love you guys. And as always, see you next time.